Hey guys, Jaren here. And this video is to teach about the concept of functions and why we have them. And um, we actually use functions in everyday life. And uh, kind of a general definition of what a function is, is that it's a set of low level tasks that you put together to make a higher level task. And the truth is your brain's been doing this for you in real life automatically already since you can remember whether or not you know it. So for example, imagine a situation where you're asked to go to the store to get groceries. So the, the high level function in that situation is to go to the store to get groceries. But that task is actually made up of some lower level tasks, such as stand up, go to your car or bike, ride to the store, pick up groceries, and return home. And each of these tasks could be broken down to an even lower level until we get to this sort of ambiguous point of your brain chemically giving signals to your limbs. But notice we don't have to stress these little details in day-to-day -day conversation because our brains have already defined all of the subtasks involved in going to the store to get groceries. And interestingly, we run into a similar problem in programming or modding where we want to be able to speak in higher terms. And so we're able to define and use functions in programming or modding. Okay, so here we have a function definition and some function calls. Uh, so function definitions, they tell your program what the function is supposed to do. Sort of like giving directions to someone to go to the store. Okay, and then this, fu and this function you know, monster wave just summons a few monsters. And then function calls are what tells the program where and when to run those directions or lines of code. Sort of like telling someone, you have the directions, now go ahead and run them now. Okay, and this makes it so you can define a function one time and call it as many times as you need. And uh, for illustration, I've made another mod that does the exact same thing as this one. Now, notice how with this mod, we're left to try and interpret what's happening a little more. Like it looks like some monster waves are here, but you really have to inspect it a little more to be sure. Whereas with the other one, you're able to see at a quicker glance what's supposed to be happening. Okay, now lastly, the, w the way that you can identify when it's useful to write a function is pretty simple. Almost any time you can identify a repeating pattern that seems to make up a high level routine that you'll need throughout your mod or pro program, you should probably save yourself some time and write a function for it, just like I did with uh, the monster wave. All right, so to summarize, you define functions with this block and you run or call functions with this one. And when you do these properly, it should allow you to have a higher level view of what's happening in your mod and it'll also allow you to speak more elegantly with your code, meaning you'll be able to accomplish more with less. And both of those things will save you some time. Alright, thanks for watching guys. 